Welcome to my vlog. Join me as I build my company, create some cool shit, and share life along the way. Landing in your inbox every Tuesday at 9. Alright guys, today's the big day. Rupi e and Rocky are on their way to town. The venue is going to start getting set up in a few hours, and hair and makeup is going to start. <sighs> I'm nervous, I'm excited, I'm feeling so good. It was my birthday two days ago. We're at the hotel. I need to do some last minute um, me prep stuff, and then we're going to get into it. Here we go. Hosting Rupi's final book tour stop with her only Q&A on tour. Let's do this. Guys, we're here. It's Maddie here, who's helping me with the vlog today. She's actually editing the vlog for yeah. me. It helps me so much time-wise. <laughs> and the room's filling up. Rupee's here. We did sound check. The line is insane. The line is insane. I am just like so floored that today is happening. <sighs> it's going to be amazing. I can't wait for you guys to see it. And I 
am not a mannequin in the window of your favorite shop. You can't dress me up or throw me up when I am more. You are not a cannibal and your actions are not my responsibility, so you will control yourself. Next time I go to school and the boys, they hoop at my backside, I push them down, foot over their necks, and defiantly say, oops, and the look in their eyes is priceless. <laughs> so where do we get? This is your final stop on the book tour. And I have the pleasure of knowing Ruby for the past year or so. Her incredible manager, Rocky, introduced us in New York. And Ruby has been so kind as to not only join us here, but allow us to do this Q&A, which is the only one on her entire tour. I never do Q&A. hers because you are so intelligent and you were so brave and when you came into my life like I came back from that trip in New York and I was like this woman changed my life this woman changed my life and everybody was like can you calm <laughs> no like you have no idea and I was just going on and on and on so it's amazing to be here and also see that we were having conversations when we first met oh we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that and but we're actually doing it our work should equip the next generation of women to outdo us in every field. This is the legacy we'll leave behind. Mm -hmm. For me, when I think of the legacy I want to leave, it's one that outlives this body. Yes. And I, you have already immortalized your legacy through these pages, through these words. But if you were to think of what you want to be remembered for, what would that be? I think um, you kind of said it. There was the reason that I wanted to publish this book, or Milk and Honey in the first place, was like, I was like, I'm here now, and I will be gone soon, but I feel so deeply connected to this art and this emotion, and the art of expression, and I want to publish this so that it lives beyond me. I want that. And so I think that's my legacy. I think if I can live a life where I'm able to continue to express honestly and give people access to that because I love to share, then I would be very happy. I think it's happened. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you so much for being for joining us. Thank you. are doing our little post-team huddle and Mitch just came huddle. just in time! This is the beginning of something great and this is the team that we're gonna ride with. Oh, so much to talk about later. Vlog family. This is my impromptu birthday party slash celebration after party. It was amazing. I'm the happiest girl. Hi! Check out this squad. Mitch is gonna ruin this photo in T minus. There it is. I love you guys. Can't tell me my Hi, Mitch. So many chins. Okay. So we just got back. Just got back. And 
I don't even know what to say. Tell me things. Excellent. Excellent. Sold out. Sold out. Really engaged crowd. Really engaged crowd. Um, it was really awesome for me because I got to listen where the first time we saw it, I was just like, like focusing on Ruby, like what it was like for her. Mm. But some of the poems just really hit me today. Yeah. Um, so that was really special. It was nice to engage that way. Mm -hmm. And it was just so cool to have friends and family there and for it to be in such a space we love. And it was awesome. It was so good. And Coco killed it. I think it went well. Crazy. It's okay. What's crazy is for, so we've been kind of planning this since August, since mm -hmm. August, September, October. Now it's November 12th. I literally planned this entire thing on my own <laughs> from the video production to the logistics to the venue. Well, logistics is venue booking, but breaking that down like to yeah, set design. You did it. You made it all I, But I orchestrated everyone. You did. And it just is like, and then being on stage and hosting and still feeling in a good place in my mind, like my capacity to organize is I'm really grateful it's still there. Like this kind of was a test for me of like, where are you at? And also like launching a future project, which is gonna hopefully be a talk show in the next year or so. Yeah. And having this be kind of like a pilot of that. And so the world can kind of see me in the in the talk show chair and host chair. Um, and so now having this intentionality about where we're going next and all the things. Well, we know where you're going next for lunch. <laughs> Can't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> we are going for lunch with Sophie Trudeau tomorrow at her house. And it's going to be phenomenal. I've been wanting to introduce her and Rupi in person for a long time. And I gave Soph uh, Rupi's book at the Dream Girl Ottawa premiere last year. And she just instantly fell in love. And so this has been a long time coming. And I'm so happy it's going to work out. And then we're going to take a spa day and go to Lenordique. And we got a little spot out there to stay and it's going to be a perfect rejuvenating wonderful monday and so anyways all this to say i'm so proud of everyone tonight maddie um kylie um, thank you so much arif rhaenyra fatima brendan drew mitch henrietta rupee and rocky nabil the whole crew David and Milen, our production team. It was just truly a phenomenal time and it takes a village to do something like this and everyone came together and Nina and Adam and Aruna and Press and all of our friends and beautiful family. It's just been, I am just, we did a toast tonight at dinner and I can't believe that this year started with me losing my vision and being more sick than I ever have been and that 11 months later, I can be here right now after hosting this incredible event and doing something that I so love and feeling on top of the world. It's phenomenal what can happen in such a short period of time. I'm gonna cry. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy tears. So before the tears come, I'm gonna sign off. I'm really, really happy and excited for the future and to keep building towards what we're building towards. And here's to many more. Here's to many more. Good night, guys. Bye. Where'd you go?